I think it's time for a glow up. <sighs> Ugh, I'm looking so rough today. I also know if we want to live the fabulous Instagram lifestyle, we need to have our finances handled. So let's do a glow up and also talk about how we can glow up financially. Okay, first step in the financial glow up is we gotta look at all of our past activity. So I want you to pull up all of your credit card statement and your checking account activity for at least the last three months. If you're feeling really brave, maybe even the last six months or as far back as the history goes, and I want you to go through every transaction and see, am I okay with the purchases that I've made? Am I okay with where my money has been going? And if you see any subscriptions that you've been paying for every month that you forgot about, that you're not using, I want you to go cancel those right now. So even just the awareness of where your money has been going is gonna be a game changer. Then you can start making more conscious spending decisions going forwards. So let's start there, go through all your history, and then if you see any subscriptions that you don't use anymore, go cancel them. If you see that you've bought things that are just sitting in your closet unworn with the tag still on, then make sure to arrange to go get those returned and get your money back too. See where you spend going. And like the key is to have that awareness. And that's it, that's step one. Go through your past spending history and see what your spending has looked like. Hmm. All right, so the next step in your financial glow up, you're not gonna like this either, but it is to list out all of your debts, if you have any. So I want you to dig up all your credit card balances, student loan balances, unpaid phone bills, maybe stuff that you owe to friends or family, back taxes, just list them all out and find out what is the balance, what is the minimum payment you have to make each month to stay out of trouble with the collectors, and the interest rate that you're paying on each. And I want you to just list them all out, have them all in front of you on a piece of paper, and then I want you to make a plan to start paying off these debts because it's really hard to feel glowed up when you're just drowning in debt. But if you have a plan and you're moving towards becoming debt-free one day, you'll feel so good about yourself. There's two ways you can do this. One, you could do the debt snowball method, which is when you start with the smallest dollar balance debt first. So you just make the minimum payments on all the other debts, but choose the one with the smallest balance and put all of your extra money towards that one debt. And just keep doing that every month until that debt is paid off and you can just cross that off your list. Then you move on to the second largest balance on your list of debts. Then put all of your extra money towards that, all while still doing minimum payments on the rest, and you just keep going. And each time, as you knock out the debts, you'll have more and more dollars going towards each debt at a time. That's why it's called the snowball method. And you can get out of debt really quickly this way. It's also very motivating to just be able to cross things off your list. The other method is you could start with the highest interest rate debt first. I actually prefer the other way where you start with the lowest balance because it just feels more motivating. But either way, just create a plan to start getting out of debt as quickly as possible. Basically, steps one and two of your financial glow up involve coming to terms with your numbers, taking your head out of the sand, not being disorganized, knowing exactly what's going on, what you owe, how much you spend, and I promise you it's going to feel really, really empowering. So pretty. This color is called mermaid. The next step in your financial glow up is to give your 401k a makeover. At most jobs, your employer is going to give you a 401k retirement plan. You might not be aware of this, but a portion of your paycheck is probably going into your 401k every single pay cycle. And so what I want you to do is go take a look at your 401k. You haven't looked at it in a while. You don't even know if you have one. You don't know what's in there. Just like 
go check it out. And I want you to make sure, one, that there is at least a percentage of your paycheck going into there. And secondly, find out if your employer gives you something called an employer match, where your employer will match dollar for dollar or 50 cents per dollar, whatever the case may be, for every dollar that you put into your 401k. So it's basically free money. It's almost like extra salary. So I want you to make sure you are maxing out the max amount of employer match that your job will give you. This is something that I did when I first started glowing up financially. My employer would put in $2 for every dollar I put into my 401k. And it was pretty crazy how quickly my 401k grew just from that. So that's it. Give your 401k some TLC. While we're on the topic of 401ks, the next step is to roll over any old 401ks that you have from previous jobs. Now, if you've left behind jobs, you might've also left behind some orphan 401ks and you don't wanna do that because it's really easy to forget about money that you have at old 401ks. So you wanna take them with you. That's all part of being organized and glowing up. What you wanna do is call the HR department at your old jobs. First of all, find out if you have an old 401k with them still and if so, do a rollover. I actually talk about that more in this video here. You can check out the details on the steps for that. But essentially, you want to take back control of these 401ks by rolling them over into an IRA that you control. Once you've rolled over all these old 401ks into one consolidated IRA that you control, we'll talk in a minute about how to get that money invested. <sighs> All right, the next step in your financial glow up is to open a high yield savings account. Now, I don't know if you know this, but if you have money just sitting in your checking account, it's probably earning zero or 0.0001% interest. And basically it's losing money to inflation. So what you wanna do is if you've got any extra cash that you don't need to use on an everyday basis, I want you to open a high yield savings account. I'll link to a few good ones below in the description. These accounts all pay at least 4% interest, which means you can be making passive income on your savings. There's no reason to not put your money to work for you and get some free interest money if, if you can. So that's the next step. Open a high yield savings account put your savings in there. And if you don't have any savings, I want you to decide on a dollar amount that you can commit to putting aside every single month out of your pay and just put it into that high yield savings account and forget that it's there. Whether it's $100 or $200 or $500 or even $1,000, just commit to like one fixed amount and set up a recurring automated transfer that you just have it you know, going, set it and forget it. And within a few months, you're gonna peek into your high yield savings account. You'll see all the little interest payments that are coming in, the money that you made while you were sleeping. And you'll be pretty surprised at how those kind of automatic transfers add up. And you'll be really proud of yourself for having saved up a bunch of money. And now we get to the good part. We're gonna talk about investing now. So remember the 401ks from old jobs that you rolled over to an IRA? Well, you can either invest with the money in that rollover IRA, or you can open a brand new IRA I recommend either a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. I have some resources below this video if you want to find out more about the differences between the two, but open either traditional or a Roth IRA and you're good to go. Once you open that IRA, you're going to want to transfer some money into it. You can start with $100 or whatever you feel comfortable with. It's also important to understand that an IRA is just an account. It's not an investment. So once you put some money into the IRA, we're going to have to talk next about how to invest it. part most people forget about. It's good to save money and budget and stay out of debt. But what's really going to change your life is when you start investing your money. And the best place to start investing your money is in the IRA retirement accounts that we talked about. So now you have your retirement account and let's say you have a couple thousand dollars in it. Let's actually talk about what options you have for investing that money. Your options are investing in stocks or in index funds and bonds. Now, in terms of what stock funds and bond index funds are good to invest in, I will show you in just a minute. I also have another video that explains this in a lot more depth. So check out this video for an explanation of index funds, stocks, and mutual funds. So now I actually wanna show you how to invest because I feel like 
sometimes people tell you to invest and they never really explain to you how to do it. So I downloaded an app called Fidelity. That's where I have my Roth IRA and my other retirement accounts and other investment accounts. You really can't go wrong with either Fidelity or Vanguard if you're in the US. I personally like Fidelity. So I downloaded the app and we're gonna just log in here. Any accounts that you've opened, any 401ks that you've rolled over into IRAs should be here. Now, I did mention this before, but just because you have money in these accounts does not mean you are investing. It just means you have money in an account and now you have to take that money and invest it. So I've got some money in my Roth IRA. We're going to open that account and now let's actually buy an index fund with this money you can go over to where it says transact where it says trade and now you need to know what's called the ticker symbol every index fund stock whatever investment you're buying comes with sort of a code that consists of several letters. So if you wanna invest in the S&P 500, which is really not a bad choice if you're just getting started, the symbol for that at Fidelity is FXAIX. I'll link to some other resources below in the video description if you want a list of more good index funds to consider, but let's just buy, you know, a thousand dollars worth of the S&P 500 index fund today. So let's go ahead and click buy. And once again, just confirm which account you are buying in and then type in the dollar amount that you want to invest. Let's say it's a thousand dollars review. And now an order has been placed and it takes a day for the order to execute. So yeah, it really is that easy. Well, that's it for this ultimate financial glow up. Thanks for hanging out with me today while I was also glowing up physically. I feel much more fabulous. Let's just not forget to take care of our financial well-being also, because that'll help you look and feel more fabulous inside and out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.